<laughs> yeah, no, it's good, eh? Um, yeah, you gave me a bit of stick yesterday, causing a bit of a scene, but yeah, no, it's good. Um, it's funny how what things can change over the last couple of weeks, but yeah, it was. he got up and had a bit of a yarn and um, all that kind of, I suppose, a little bit of hard feelings have been put to bed, but yeah, he cracked the joke in classic uh, Steve um, fashion, but yeah, it was cool, cool to have him around and um, yeah, it's like um, he never left. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we did. Gave him a big hug and um, yeah, I won't say what he said to me, but uh, yeah, it was it's um, it was a good a bit of humour and um, like I said, it's uh, he's got a lot of respect in this in this environment. It was just helping out a mate once we got a bit of context to it and um, it was all good. He's still sharp as ever. Uh, yeah, like it's it, like it's always special, obviously having him in. But um, you know, you're talking about Steve, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. the big bears. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to, yeah, yeah. Um, he's a couple of big bears around here. Um, yeah, like and it's like I said, it's like a real un like he's he's sta obviously standing back and observing a lot. But I suppose it's like his spirits. He's got a lot of good deep connections with a lot of players that he's been, he's coached before. And I think um, you've seen that when they've seen the players for the first time, like the smiles and the, the banter and that. And like I said, he's been getting around a few players and just, you know, giving them a bit of advice. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, um, I suppose, lifted the spirits up and um, I suppose he's determined to probably yeah, help that process and, and how we're feeling over the last couple of days after the loss to France. Yeah, I think like like we always back our fitness, but like I said, like sometimes you're not going to get those pitches of playing. Like I think the Aussie game was 41 minutes ball and play. Like we might not get it this at this World Cup. So like it honestly comes back to um, when we do like holding on to the pill, being disciplined, building pressure, all those little things, defending really well on our line. Like it, there's a number of things that can help that. And it's just not because we we're, we're a fit team. Like. Um, and it, like you know, World Cups, people turn up on a day, and like that pressure and that intent can do funny things to you. You can you, be, you can run twenty k because you're you're playing for your country and stuff like that. So um, there's a number of things. Not oh, it's hard to probably single on, on one thing, but if we can do that, we'll um, you know we'll be in a better position to to close out games or win games or and be um, yeah productive in that space. That's a good question. Well, obviously, like a uh, like a a real solid result would be nice, but you've got to bring it back. Like I think for, as a forward, the set piece stuff is always massive for us. We need we got a um, bit of a touch up against France, so I think the scrum was very important. I think our line out functioned pretty well. So just speaking for myself, I think that for success has been um, having a solid scrum. The things that we need to work on from the weekend, if we can improve that against Namibia, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm never one to predict, you know, what this is, this and that. But I reckon that we, as a forward, you take pride in your set piece, and that's kind of thing that we've got to um, improve on going forward. Um, not necessarily. I mean, um, I, I can understand why you're saying that, and I think it's more about um, taking the lessons and and um, how we can just keep improving and get into that. All black standard that we want. Um, certainly put microscope on a few things, but we're certainly not reinventing the wheel and pushing the panic buttons. Um, there's a there's still a great energy amongst the group. There's a willingness to um, get us up there to where we need to be. I think uh, I mean with scrummaging now with the power that we have and the the timing and things like that. It's like I suppose you could. Um, compare it to like a goal kick, goal kicker. If he's a, a centimetre or an inch off, that could be three or four by the time he engages, and that can be the difference at international level, and particularly World Cups when you know the referees and, and the game. We want it to be um, as much game time as possible, and and so those little things um, is probably where we're at really, and trying to minimise that as best we can. I think it's the beauty about rugby, you know, like you've got different conditions, you've got different teams you play. We, we would have noticed in the weekend there was a, the ball was like soap. Um, so there's probably a bit more kicking involved in that, the strategy, 
um, strategies, strategies around yellow cards and how you do that. So there might be a bit more kicking and less running maybe for the forwards if that's the case. You might want to, you know, so there's a few things there strategically that's um, happening because of different other elements. But who knows, that might change um, in two weeks' time when you can sort of see where they're starting to change a little bit now. Um, and that, I mean, that's the great thing about, about rugby is there's always something different to, to throw into the mix. And if we can hold on to that ball, I'm excited about what can happen.